Hey everyone, Leo here. I uh, just want to go over a workshop that the Solano County had yesterday at the event center. They were talking about doing business with Solano County. So if you're a business owner in Solano County and are interested in reference finding out how to do business with Solano County, let me go over some of the notes I took and share it with you. Uh, today. So one of the things that for the first mention is obviously getting registered with them, right? So getting registered with them is the first step that needs to be done to sort of find out and be on the and so that they can keep you on the loop of what's going on. One of the things you can do to register is you can go to the solanocounty.com website and on the front page you'll you can see towards the right side there will be a menu and in it you'll see information about uh, vendors or there will be a link about vendors and that's where you can go to the procurement side to find out what sort of contract you know to learn as much as um, uh, to learn or get a lot of information related to the procurement there's information related to what projects are there what they're looking for uh, some of the process but also there's an application form the application or registration form is the first step to do and it has a, a phone number to call which um, it, it, it will be a great resource um, because there's a lot of things that can go from, you know, they got from complex projects, from simple projects, uh, and obviously the more complex project will, may need a lot more information if, if, if it's something you've never done. So um, on the application, get that number, call them if you have questions or email them. Um, make sure to ask, to ask questions because especially with the complex projects, there's a lot of requirements, right? There's contracts that needs to be revised. There's insurance, high insurance that needs to be bond, uh, need to be put in place, bond. Um, uh, so if, if you are small business owners and you never done contract with government entities, um, obviously ask questions, right? This workshop was great. We, we were able to get some information in reference to uh, what they presented, um, the presenters, by the way, were, by the way, were with Solano County, so there was a lot of great resources and information there. Um, so, I mean, that would be the main point, right? To to get to learn what uh, what information they have, what are the rules that you need to follow with them. Start with going to the website, learn about the procurement side. Um, register with them. There's a system that they're using right now. There's a new system they're using to uh, allow people to access if you register to sort of see what sort of projects they have going on. Um, and again, depending on the complexity of the of the project, they they may have they may have different requirements. Their projects that require the the are uh, have less requirements are the ones that are seventy five hundred dollars and less. That's seven thousand five hundred dollars and less. Uh, because those uh, amounts, most of the time, whoever, the, whatever department of Solano County is the one that has the needs, can just go in and get that um, contract without having to go to a lot of the paperwork or without having to go with their main procurement um, department, right, to oversee. So on the $7,500, it's much, much easier. Uh, to do there is faster to get paid one of the things you got to be aware of is for larger projects it takes four to six weeks I think they mentioned to get paid uh, obviously they will suggest you to get um, electronic payment set up with them so you can get paid a little bit faster but you're looking at that right you're looking at you look into covering the cost up front, especially for general contractors, construction, installation, covering the cost up front and then, you know, taking between four to six weeks to get paid if you get the bid. Now, one of the things I also want to share with you is that Solano County doesn't have preferences for certified businesses that are like minority businesses or uh, disabled or veteran owned businesses, uh, unless whatever grant they get from the government or other entity specifically has that as a requirement that the business has to be, you know, a certified minority business or anything like that. Uh, however, what they do favor on is uh, hiring locals. So if there's a Solano business that was bidding and there's other businesses that were bidding for a project, they are going to give that chance to that one local business that 
who which bid was within the five percent of the lowest bid to give it a chance to reach out to them and say hey you know we have this other bidder that came out came down or, or they'll come out a little bit lower than you uh will you be open to match it and if their solano county business is open to match that low bid then obviously they will um reward that uh that contract to that local business that's the preference they give to local businesses um they don't so much give preferences for certified minority business or disabled veterans uh, unless they have a grant that is specifically required. Let's see, what other information could I share? Um, again, just go to their website, right, and learn about it. Uh, there's a lot of information to learn, especially if there's a complex project. If you're just starting, uh, just start with the ones that are under, under $7,500. I need to go in there and check what, what is available. Um, but again, just go to the solanocounty.com website and you'll see um, an application. And the application, there's a phone number there. The phone number is 707-784-6320. That's the best phone number they provided to contact them. And there's an email to, as well on the application, purchasing at solanocounty.com. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of material you can find on their, on their website, or I'm sure you can email them and or call them and ask questions. All right, have a good one, bye.